Profundo Lights versus the new Profundo Parfum. Did I just buy the same thing twice? Tomato, tomato. It's a 2024 release, so I had to pick it up. Aqua de Gio knows what they're doing as far as the office safe signature scent. They might be one of the kings in that space. And I really enjoy Profundo Lights for office type, corporate, clean, non-offensive scent profile. But let's be honest, none of the Aqua de Gio's blow my nuts off. But I'm here to give you my interpretation of Profundo Parfum because I usually tell people if you're going for the Aqua de Gio line, go for the lights. That's the one I like. And if our nose is aligned, you might enjoy it as well. But did we switch out Parfum for Profundo lights? Only one way to find out. Let's roll my music so I can give you my thoughts on this new 2024 release and see if it replaces, well, this one and all of them. <laughs> You know who it is, it's your boy, c 3 u 3 to a I picked it up reluctantly. The fact of the matter is, I am a content creator and I have to make content to entertain the masses and people like to see new releases. I don't like new releases, why? Because I gotta pay retail for them. But if I manage to get at least $5 off, hey, I'm kind of happy, so I pulled the trigger on Profundo Parfums reluctantly. Now visually, Profundo Lights versus Parfum, I mean, <laughs> separated at birth. Visually, they didn't spend a ton on packaging. They almost look damn near identical. Same, same, but different but still say. And this is not my first impressions of the Profundo Parfum, and I'm gonna give you my honest interpretations how I feel about this shit, because I'm currently wearing it, and this would be my second wear. Let's put the lights down. Turn down the lights. All right, enough. First, real quick, let's just get into the breakdown of the notes of the new Profundo Parfum release. So the opening of the fragrance indicates it's marine notes followed by green mandarin. Then we got a little mimosa followed by patchouli and labdanum. Sounds very simplistic, doesn't it? Well, the fact of the matter is that it's absolutely simplistic and I don't know why the hell I bought it. Is it offensive? Is it bad? No, you can say that about all the Aqua de Gio joints. There is something very nice, easy to wear about this new release. However, what I'm experiencing on skin is a very subpar performance, even more than the Profundo Lights. I'm not getting much of anything on this fragrance. As a matter of fact, today wearing this fragrance, I had to reapply oh. it this afternoon. Now, hey, I'm good money with reapplication. Trust me, I don't need a performance bomb scent profile at all. I'm good with reapplication, but I want to get a little bit out of it, right? It's very skin scent-ish. That's what I'm getting from Profundo Parfum. It's a clean, super office safe, very in the space of the majority of the Aqua de Gio fragrances. This does feel a little cash grabby to me. It's like, yeah, this is a great option for you to cop if you don't have five others already. Abetico Morillas is the king of the freshies. We all know that. But Papalote, like, can we do something a little bit? Can we skirt real quick? Can you flip the nitrous? Can we do something? Like, switch it up a little bit. Get a little crazy. Look how you did with Mizzen, sir, bro. You masterfully killed that shit. But it feels like either the people at Armani are just like, nah, 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 homie. Keep this same brief. Uh, turn this down, pump this up a little bit more, and that's it with Gucci. And I know that must suck, because that's kind of how I'm feeling when I'm smelling it. Again, super wearable, very office safe, a pleasant scent, very green, aquatic, soapy, classy as shit, ultra professional, nobody's gonna get offended by it, but nobody's pussy's getting wet off of this scent. Let's be clear. Damn it, I just really wanna be f***ed, you know, just really f I don't know anybody who has like flicked their monkey to Aqua de Gio. At least not the new joints. Maybe back in the day when the OG came out, everybody was slapping their hand to it. But right now, like, I don't know. This for me is more of a weird to let y'all know how I think about it. I say go out, buy it, buy everything you want. It's all your personal taste. Run to the department store, test this shit out. But if you want to blow the bag and be like the first one to get that new, new release because you feel you have to, go right ahead. For me, it's a fucking business. And this was a bad business move. This is something I'm gonna take a little bit of an L on, but that's the nature of the game. I'm not offended by it. It's gonna be a nice fragrance to spray on somebody else who's looking for something or just keep it in that, ooh, safe to wear pouch. Now, what I haven't gotten to do is smell them side by side to see what's what. So the Buck Boy Energy is going to be the new release. So we're gonna do two sprays of that. And the blank is going to be the Profundo Light. So we're gonna do two sprays of that. And I'm gonna smell these side by side to see if there's any similarities, differences, or what. Starting off with the new release. 
super good. Very aquatic forward, very clean. You can pinpoint that labdanum, but it's more of a soapy, aquatic, freshy scent profile. No saltiness here. Very clean, fresh out of the shower, body wash situation. And here's the Profundo Lights, which is one of my favorites in the Aqua de Gia lineup. For a lights fragrance, hmm, this one I find still a little bit better. It's a little bit sparkly. Like for me, the lights has a little bit more of a green, fizzy, maybe a little herbal action to that aquatic kind of energy. It feels like it has more body, maybe even a little bit more spice. The new joint, it's just okay. It's not a ball sprayer for me. It's a fragrance that should be heavily discounted. I'm again, not bad but redundant. It kind of feels like if you have like two to three Aqua de Geo scents, you could say you have five or six and maybe one day you're a little extra funky, one day your skin is a little extra sour and the scent profile will be different. Like it's a fucking waste. So for me, the new Aqua de Geo, although nice, not a ball sprayer, not something I would say go get retail, sample before you buy, but you should be doing that for any scent profile either way. I don't know, that shit just don't do dick for me. It's nice. But just that. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you're gonna get one. Again, I like the lights version. That's on me. You do whatever you want with your money. Unless I can swipe your credit card, I got nothing to do with this shit. I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know it is biggest in the game. Smooth. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, we don't talk in my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>